Hello everyone. Yeah, I know, it's another filler video, but you know, with how things have been around here lately, I don't think I could have delivered a good plastic addict this week anyway. So, after completing 10 episodes, this is probably a good chance to do my rules of being the addict. These are the basic things I follow that I've never really spoken about. So, this is a chance for you to hear the criteria I go through in order to review a bad toy. This helps get into my head a little bit, and hopefully you might figure out why the hell I do this stuff. Requirements. Lack of redeeming qualities. It's a simple rule, right? The worse a toy it is, the better it is for me. Now, you've got toys like, you know, Cybertron Backstop, who has a decent beast mode, but then you see it's purple. It's frickin' purple rhino. In Japan, Saidos, he was gray. And in beast mode, he was great. So I couldn't pick on him as much as I could pick on backstop. I mean, there's a lot of toys out there that have one mode that is horrible, and another mode that is actually pretty good. But then you have things like this that have absolutely nothing going for it. And this is great fodder for Plastic Addict. And yeah, we'll get to him eventually. But the worse it is, the better it is for me. I don't have to push anything to make it funny because you know I really don't like doing that and to be honest it's not funny for you guys so we're gonna try to avoid that from now on we're gonna stick to the bad stuff comedic value again pretty simple it has to have funny elements it has to be something that is easy to make fun of again I don't want to have to push a joke just to try to get a laugh out of you guys because odds are you're not going to laugh at a forced joke there are toys out there that, you know, don't have much funny things about them. But then you got guys like Injector here. Eh, hi. This guy is perfect. How much could I make fun of this guy? I mean, it's endless. I don't even know how to review him yet because I've got so many ideas churning through my head. So this guy is exactly what I'm after. Low popularity. This is more to the people who have been requesting certain figures that they personally don't like, like classic Grimlock here. And I have no idea why it would qualify. I mean, the beast mode is great. Robot mode, highly articulate. It looks a lot like Grimlock. I mean, very little kibble even. And it doesn't even use the original transformation. I mean, come on, let's face it. G1, Animated, Masterpiece, and Energon are all going to use the exact same transformation scheme. At least this one tries something different, and it still comes off really freaking good. So something that you don't like, that is universally liked, I'm not going to review. The same goes for things like Lockdown here. I don't know why everyone is down on lockdown all of a sudden. I mean, when the pre-release stuff was coming out and in the first waves of animated, he was great. Everyone was raving over him, but he's caught this sudden wave of hatred, and I don't know why. I mean, he's freaking huge, great articulation, great vehicle mode. Now, I mean, unless you were unlucky enough to get one with loose joints, because he got a lot of joints on him, you re there's really nothing I can find bad about him. So things like this, I can't bring myself to review because in the end, they're not really bad. It has to be bad for everybody because, you know, if I review something that, you know, a group of people like and a group of people don't, you end up things with, like, Energon Optimus Prime, who's one of my more viewed reviews, but on the other hand, I get a lot of backlash about that one because there are a lot of people who like him. It's got to be something that as many people as possible can enjoy. Simple as that. Toys I will not review. Freebie toys. This applies to any toy that you don't necessarily have to pay for. I mean, in particular, Happy Meal toys. I've gotten a request for them, but you know what? I'm not going to review them. You got them for free. What did you expect? I mean, if it's meant to be free, then you're going to get what you pay for. It's as easy as that. It's supposed to be a bad toy. It's for a little kid. It's not for a grown collector. And it doesn't make for a good plastic addict. We're only reviewing toys that you have to buy to find out how awful it is. That's the whole point of the series. We're reminding Hasbro that we're still watching. And we are not going to forgive them. 99% of the toys are good. 
We're not letting you off the hook for the 1% that are awful. Bad repaints. This is something I did in the past, and I have sworn it off. Because fact is, Titanium Menasaur and Universe Silverbolt here, both are good toys. They just have extraordinarily bad paint jobs. Does a really bad paint job make a toy worse? Absolutely. I don't have as much fun with this toy as I do with my Beast Wars Silverbolt. It's the simple fact of that. You want it to look good. This does not. But honestly, it's still a good toy. In form, in gimmick, it's still good. So I really can't be harsh with it, and I can't do it anymore. There's plenty of toys out there that have been good, but got a bad repaint that makes them worse. But I can't pick on them just for a color scheme. That's not enough anymore. We're going for quality, awful toys. If that word makes sense. Figure it out. Accessory figures. Basically, this is any figure that happens to come with a much larger figure. That's the real reason you're buying a toy. This applies to mini-cons, accessory figures like laser beak. I'm not going to review them individually because they're not meant to stand on their own. I mean, Armada Hoist is a fantastic toy. So I'm not going to review Refute, who's one of the worst mini-cons. It's an accessory figure. It's not meant to be the main focus, and it's not meant to be the best quality. In that same vein, I'm not going to review Robot Heroes or Legends figures, because, honestly, they're not supposed to be all that good. They're supposed to be simple. They're supposed to be dumbed down. So you don't, you can't put them on the same grading scale you'd put anything else. It just wouldn't be fair. G1 Toys. This is in the same vein, unfair. There's no modern grading scale that could make a G1 figure fair game for Plastic Addict. I mean, in my hands, I hold Submarauder, a pretender. Ooh. Yes, pretenders were the epitome of bad toys in G1. Okay, aside from Action Masters. But really, if you had a collection of pretenders as a kid, and you lost all the accessories, then you had a collection of spaceships with arms hanging off of them. That was your whole collection. Yes, for G1, they were bad. But on a modern toy scale, there's no way to review a G1 toy, any G1 toy, in a fair way. It's just not possible, and it's not fair game. So, as much as I would like to review something like this, I've got to stick with modern stuff. It just makes for a better video. And the number one rule for being the plastic addict, and this is a rule for you, NO REQUESTS! I'm sorry, but I really can't take requests. I mean, just with the very nature of this series, I'm working with what I've got here. I mean, what you see behind me in these shelves, that's my whole collection. I don't have a pile of bad toys lined up to do, and I don't go buying bad toys just to sit down and do an 8 or 10 minute review for them. I do enjoy this, but, you know, I just can't afford to go buying every single bad toy I would like to do. It gets too expensive. I would love to review something like Armada Sideswipe or Retrax. It's just not affordable. I can't do it. Now, if you're willing to donate something for me to review, okay, now that's a different story. I, I'm all for that. But, you know, when I really think about it, that's not really why I got into this. And, you know, I really want to do this as a hobby. And just to entertain you people for 8 or 10 minutes every video, I would feel cheap, I think, if I would start getting free toys just because someone wants me to review them. And that would really hurt my artistic approach to these. And I personally would feel dirty that I have been using this video series as a means to gain free toys. And really, I cannot abide by that. So those are the basic rules I follow for a review from now on. So now you're in my head a little bit more, you know a little bit more about me. And you know, I said no request, but that doesn't mean I don't like hearing from you. I mean, if you've got an idea, if you've got a toy that maybe I've overlooked, I would love to hear from you. I mean, I love feedback, I love knowing how well I'm doing. Do you want me to cut the censoring? Let me know. Do you want me to censor more? Let me know. It's really for you guys, so I want to know what you guys think. And there's really only one question on my mind that has to be answered specifically. Who is next?